Hi, welcome back. This is Sanjay Kumar Verma from Unikaksha. So my dear friends, now we are going to discuss about of the Red Hat Linux. So now today our agenda is that we want to discuss about of the package management. That means how to install the packages in Linux, right? That means if you have a, a different different distributions, right? So every distribution have a different package manager. So if I talk about of the Ubuntu, they have a APT package manager. Same available in Debian, that is APT. When you are using of the Red Hat, so Red Hat have a YUM package manager, like same as CentOS, right? Uh, but from Rallet, they are going to introduce new thing that is DNF, right? DNF and YUM both are same. So when you are running any command with a yum, so in the backend, it's going to hit off the DNF. So first of all, we have to understand what is the yum and DNF. So I know you can install the softwares in Windows because there is a .exe file or you can just set a file and you can do the double click and you can install it, right? So because Windows support the .exe naming convention of the softwares, right? So if I talk about the Red Hat Linux, so Red Hat Linux don't support the .exe naming convention of the packages. Actually, it have a own package manager, right? The naming convention is .rpm. Package name is .rpm, Red Hat Package Manager, right? So you can install those packages using with the RPM, right? But there is a problem. RPM will not resolve the dependencies of your packages, right? Might be your uh, application or your packages or your software have a so many dependency. So it's a very difficult to install any kind of package because first of all, you have an idea. What is the dependency of that particular package? So Red Hat say, RPM is a manual approach, right? So if you want to do of your job as a smartly, so you have an idea about of the YUM server, right? So using of the YUM server or you can say DNF server, you can install of your packages on your Linux machines, right? So generally, you have an idea how to configure. YUM server is not part of the Red Hat administration training. In this training, generally people will show you how to configure the YUM client, right? Same, uh, when you are going to attempt a uh, Linux administration exam, there is a question you have to configure of your machine as a YUM client. So ultimately you have an idea how to configure of your YUM server, then you can install the packages on your machines, otherwise, the job will be difficult. You can't do anything. So let's see. I'm going to start off my virtual machine. Yes. So you can see this is my cat at C OS hyphen release. I'm using Red Hat 8.3. Correct. And my dear friend cd at C yum dot repos.d. This is the database of the yum server. Right now I don't have any kind of yum server and if I will show you this file, this is only text file. I am going to delete rm-rf of this file. Correct. Right now I don't have any kind of yum server. So what is the prerequisites? So generally uh, you can mount off your DVD on your server and you can download and upload the packages. But in the real production environment, you will not get the DVD room on the physical server, right? So this is only one time job, right? So first of all, let me check now we have to mount our DVD on your Linux machine. So you can see this is my DVD. My DVD is already mounted. So my dear friend, you can configure of your yum server using of the http you can configure of your yum server using of the vsftpd so here i will show you 
how to configure the yum server using of the ftp package right so first of all we have to jump inside where my dbd is this package is. so let me go inside cd run media root rel this is my dbd all packages are available inside the dbd so there are two repository one is app stream this one another is base os so in the app stream we have some advanced packages and uh, base os that means default packages which is available on my machine during the installation so first of all what to do we have to install a ftp package on my machine let's see if i will show you rpm query psftpd package is not available right so my dear friend this package is available inside the app stream and there is a another folder that is package right so here we have to run the command rpm hyphen ivh vsftpd psf pd rpm red hat package manager i for install v for verbose h for human readable just a second yes you can see now you can verify rpm query vsftpd package is successfully installed perfect and then now if i will show you cd where ftp this is the default document root of the ftp here you will get a pub folder that is a public folder so at this location you have to copy of your entire dvd packages right so again we have to jump in this side where my all packages are available at this location okay now you can see this so i will copy the entire dvd cp hyphen rbf star that means what you have in your dvd please copy where where ftp pub at this location so now you can see it's a going to copy of your packages so please wait it will take some time so don't worry now all packages are successfully opened let's see cd var ftp pop yes you can see all the packages are available at this location correct so after this what to do we have to do in the main config file we have to do some changes in the main config file of the ftp we might see vsftpd vsftpd dot con this is the main config file so right so now you know basically there are two types of ftp user one is ftp and other is anonymous user so by default anonymous is no so what to do you have to make it yes in rel8 right after this you have to restart system ctl vsftpd dot service enable of this for permanent okay after this you have to add this service in firewall also otherwise firewall will filter up this so let me check now firewall hyphen cmd 
hyphen hyphen list hyphen all yes ftp service is not allowed so what to do we have to add firewall hyphen cmd hyphen hyphen permanent hyphen hyphen add service my service is ftp success and then now you have to reload the ftp sir so what to do you have to reload the firewall firewall hyphen cmd hyphen hyphen reload when you will not reload the firewall then your changes will not be applicable okay now you can verify again so you can see the ftp service is allowed okay after this what to do you have to make it a file on your server at this location vim at c m dot repos dot t right this is the database of the yum server right so you can create a file with any name but naming convention should be dot repo so i am assigning the name yum naming convention dot repo here you will pass out the detail of your yum server right first of all what is the ip right so here go to the insert mode here you have to share the name correct so just a second let me open a another tab let me check now what is the ip of this machine ip address show the ip is 192.168.1.1 let me do the ping 192.168.1.1 yes it's working control c perfect now here i am assigning the name ral 8 base correct and uh, you can assign any name like uh, first repository related to base application right so this is the name base underscore app correct name this is important name here you have to assign the name name is rgl 8 base OS. correct this is the important base url that means where is your packages on which location your packages are available so my packages are available at this location ftp colon double slash you have to share the ip of your server 192.168.1.1 1.1 sorry slash pub folder so in this folder i have a base os b should be capital os should be capital and you can verify no problem cd where F, where ftp so base here this is b, b is capital os is also capital right gpg check general purpose key zero simple correct enabled is equal to one you have to create another repository that is apps same thing name 
आर एच सी एल एट एप्स बेस यू आर एल माई पैकेज इज अवेलेबल एट दिस लोकेशन बेस यू आर एल एफ टी पी वन करेक्ट देन सेव एंड क्विट करेक्ट तो नाउ वी कैन वेरीफाई आवर रिपोजिटरीज इज वर्किंग और नॉट सो लेट सी हाउ टू चेक द रिपोजिटरी यम रेपो लिस्ट so you can see there are two repository one is apps and other is base os let me check now my yum is working or not yum update yes very good here i am going to install yum install as to tp first of all just a second verify rpm query as to tpd this package is available or not package is not available right i want to install this package yum install as to tpd right let's see let me explain it correct this is the name of the package right this is the architecture that means it will support 32 bit as well as 64 bit this is the version of this package 2.4 dot something and this package is going to download from apps repository you can see this is the size correct and now you can see these are the dependencies right so yum server will resolve of the all dependency related to the sttpd there are so many repository dependency sorry apr apr hyphen util sttpd hyphen files whatever now you can see there are total nine packages and you can see what do you want to do you want to install it so you have to press y please wait you can see correct so now again you can hit the rpm query as to tpd perfect now you can see package is available any point of time if you want to remove the package so you no need to hit this rpm hyphen e then you want to remove no you have to use this command yum remove as to tpd hyphen y that it will not get any kind of authentication from my side now you can see it's going to remove all the packages right now you can check rpm query as to tpd there is no package so like this you can install the package is using of the yum now you can see in any case you are running the command dnf install tree it's the same or you can use uh, any dhcp for example dh c p star yes now that means doesn't matter you are running off your command with a yum or dnf but in the back end it's a going to hit off the dnf so this is the idea behind of the yum server so i have settled this environment on server side so you no need to configure the yum server on all the machine you can share the repository file on your client side and you can download the packages 
i will show you in the next session so i think this is clear thank you so much stay safe stay home stay healthy